Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Deloach, and uh, how loud are you? I'll get back to that in just a moment. Um, I'm here right now just to let you know, hey, today is my 11th day being sober. I haven't had a single drink in 11 days as of August 10th, 2013, and it's a pretty good story of it, like put it this way, like why, well what initially made me want to stop drinking, well first, before the date e that I named even me mentioned August 10th, before that date even came around, I was already in the process of easing up on my drinking, slowing down, trying to like, ah, I don't want to drink because it's messing me up, I kept on, I know I knew it was messing me up, but I kept on drinking, it's like, but I, what I did after I came back from the uh, event in Denver, the Don't Be a Wussy event, first and second day after I came back, I drank, but then I actually stopped drinking, and I didn't drink for like an entire like week, up until like, 21st, 21st, like almost like the 30th, and then uh, I, like I think it was like on the 29th or 30th of uh, July, I kind of like shared that with my friend John Turbo. He's the uh, the lead singer of uh, Children of December, who are actually performing at the House of Blues uh, on uh, August 31st uh, at the end of a uh, at the end of this month at the House of Blues in uh, Houston. So if you're around, go check it out. They're hot right now, and they're going to be the freaking number one. They are, in my opinion, the number one band in Houston put it this way, they're the number one band that is waiting to be recognized, so I've recognized them, and I want everybody else to recognize them as well, Children of December, badass band, lead singer rock star John, he's the buddy that I know that I was introduced to, Jason Nichols, who's my friend that I initially met, who got me into online marketing, and is badass, so to continue on the story, he made a decision to stop drinking for himself, and he said he wanted to market with his birthday. And I believed him now. I was like, oh, yeah, that's badass. He said, hey, why don't you, you know, with me, we can have our last drink, and we can go for a year straight. I agreed. I said, badass. Like I said, that was August 8th. So continuing. August 8th comes around, and... We sit there, we party it up, we drink past midnight. Me, since we drank past midnight and we walk, broke into the uh, the day of the night, I was like, hey, freaking, you know what? I'm still drink. I still I ha already had a drink on the night, so it was like technically the day was ruined. So I drank for the rest of the day, and uh, John went to sleep, woke up, and he stopped drinking. That's what he said. I'm gonna go to sleep, wake up, and stop drinking. Later on that night. He uh he hit me up. So I went over to his pad. I seen him, I said, Holy crap, dude, you you cut your hair. And I was like he said, Yeah, I cut my hair and I was like, Well, why'd you cut your hair? Well he let me know he messed up, he had a drink, so he cut his hair. He used it as a marker to represent his reason why he cut his hair and what he's and what he was trying to get away from by cutting his hair he's trying to change who he was not who he is and like not his personality or not all of that but he was trying just to change a habit that he believed was bad for him so congratulate him on that because seriously he's doing a good job right now um He's ha he was uh, he is uh he's had more uh, problems with uh, alcohol than I have, so I'm helping him as best I can, and he's doing really good through that. So I support him. So he said he cut his hair to mark the fact that he's not going to drink. He's going to do everything he can, and I'm going and I'm doing everything I can for him to help ensure that he stays sober so that way he can accomplish his goals that he wants to accomplish just like part of the reason for me not drinking so I can accomplish my goals that I want to accomplish and I had already been 
in the process of thinking about it and him cutting his hair and his reason for kind of like I built into it and I didn't follow him because I made the decision for myself that's the thing I still made that decision for myself to cut my hair I made that decision for myself because I had already been talking about making cutting my hair to mark the beginning of the most monumental change in my life that's why I cut my hair to mark the, the most monumental change in my life that's going to lead me into becoming like on top of the world <laughs> so to speak like The world is waiting for me to just jump out and dive into that body of o water and just freaking go swimming as fucking deep as far as I can and reach the freaking depths nobody's ever reached before. I was looking off screen right there because like I was going into my own little mad my imagination like as because that right there your imagination they like you got a wild vivid imagination a lot of people have heard that and like you hear it getting downsized as you get into school and how people say oh you can't you can't speak like that this and that people will look at you differently well go ahead and look at me differently people have been looking at me differently ever since I was a kid ever since I was Ryan DeRoach sitting there at Mi Lemon Grove Middle School I remember getting made fun of just because of my last name but it was also because there was something about me that made me weird something that made me different something that made me unique something that made me not like really fit in with anybody like there is there's very very few people in my high school and in in most of my school that I actually could talk to and interact with and get along with but that's always because the people who did interact with me were not nearly but could understand the weirdness in me so like there everybody that I know has their own little weird personality that makes them unique and I've seen that and like they've seen that in me and that's what kinda like draws them is like cuz I am so damn weird it's like you're like dude what what is that like one of my friends dude what are you who are you where are your people where do you belong you don't look like you don't fit in with anybody else because I'm not like anybody else. I am my own person, my own creative, unique person. Like they say, he asked me, "What do you mix with?" I tell him, "Black, Spanish, Puerto Rican, Indian, German, and Jew." From what I understand, uh, those are the six that I know. And he's like, "Dude, you need to just break it down and just give one or two." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, if I, that's the case, I'll just tell people I'm a mutt." And that most of the time that works so people want to find out well, what are you though you know I understand you're a mutt but what are you so it's just part of who I am like, like I said I remember going through school as the the kid that was weird but at the same time it's like I had my own beliefs my own different ideas and the things that made me unique and the things that made certain people look at me and just listen to me and just be able to interact with me was the fact that I am not like most people that you meet. <laughs> I'm I'm weird. I really am. And I don't mind admitting that. People tell me uh, I'm weird and I like seriously, I've been at work, people tell me, "Dude, you're weird." Um I just laugh and I say like you finally noticed. Really? Like tell me something I don't know. I'm glad you finally noticed though cuz now we're that much closer, <laughs> but um, like it's it's definitely definitely been something that's like separated me from the world, like in my own sense. But at the same time, it's allowed me to reach out and make certain people look. And if you're looking right now, and if I caught your attention, then really uh, ask, ask yourself like how w what is it that you're willing to do in order to break out of your eggshell ask yourself 
what is it going to take for you to break out of your egg shell so that way you can be like a little bird breaking out of its egg chirping life into the into the into the wind and freaking making your name for yourself what's it going to take for you to cry out and shout and prove that you have something to say I asked you earlier in the beginning of this video how loud are you? you can go ahead and leave your comments in the in, leave your comments below make sure you share this video with your friends because this, this video is just many people are going to watch this video listen and understand and everyone who understands about expressing yourself one the reason why I decided to stop drinking a part of expressing myself and being able to be the person that's in front of you today like people will understand and just start making a name for themselves and they'll go ahead and click the link below they'll, they'll go ahead and click the link and they'll go ahead and get in and they'll go ahead and start taking action and making a name for themselves that is what many of you are doing right now many of you who have understood I appreciate you understand that you you're you as a person are more wonderful than most people would even dare to recognize and you need to break out of your eggshell and you need to scream you, ne you need to put yourself out there you, ne you need to speak your message start right now create something for yourself click on the link I've got a blog that's going to be made for this video that uh, explains what I'm going to be doing over the next 354 days to complete my year of sobriety 11 down baby 354 to go I'm doing it what are you doing y'all take care and y'all have a wonderful day night whatever it may be <laughs> peace